And I swore off dairy, but then Ben and Jerry's named a flavor after me, so... Stark raving hazelnuts. Not bad. A bit chalky. By the way, yeah, this game has mostly negative reviews on Steam. I don't... Well, I don't... I just... I, we were in pre-stream, and I was like, you know what, fine, I'll, how about Mythbusters? This is a mostly negative game. Is it gonna be... Is it that bad? I don't think so. Well, let's check it out. <laughs> mostly negative. What if this is amazing? What if you guys? What, okay. What if this is really fun? I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to do some experiment. Here it is. And uh, snap my fingers. Snap. There I am too. Hope I wasn't naked in that frame. But whatever. I don't care. Okay. Go to the the myth board in order to choose a myth. Not a whole lot going on here. That's like we we got one. It's our. It, put it on. Stick it on the wall. We're about to make our first $40. Is it possible to survive a grenade explosion by covering it with an object and hiding behind a suitable cover? A bucket? Uh, a barrel? Or maybe a wooden box? Uh, what will be the best way to stop the explosion? <laughs> Why are we jumping on hand <laughs> grenades? Oh, welcome to Mythbusters, man. First myth of the day. <laughs> Gary's going to jump on a grenade and fucking explode. And we'll see how many... Uh, what, 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 what's the point of this? There's going to be one episode of this show. Um, okay. How to survive a grenade? <laughs> it's called... Pick it up off the fucking ground and throw it back! What's this, how's that? Determine the area percentage. Click within a body to fill it... What? <gasps> what happened? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Oh, we're making the grenade. I get it, all right. Oh, this is easy. I get it. Oh my god. I just, I don't like this. Okay, we need to move. Oh my. What? I thought I was going to be playing with. I thought I was going to be playing. Whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. No. Oh. Alright, we made the grenade. Alright, I made the grenade. I got it. <laughs> oh, it just blows up in my hands. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I don't, I don't fucking care. Let's go. Let's go to the, let's go to the fun part where I can experiment. Look, I just want to be the fucking celebrity that walks on and just has the safety goggles and is like, ho, ho, ho! That's what all my lines, I don't do anything. I have my own air-conditioned trailer. Okay, the machine's ready to work, so what do I do now? <laughs> don't, don't lie down under, don't like put your neck under here. <laughs> all right, I'm ready to work. <laughs> That's not good. Get me out of this. Okay, it's in. Now... We... What the fuck am I making? What is this? I'm making a shitty mailbox for, like, my second grade class. What is this supposed to be? Oh, you bet your ass if I was on this episode, I would be like, yeah, let me do it. I'd be, like, hitting it with the hammer, and I would hit it hard and put, pretend my thumb got hit and go, like, no, oh, and put, like, into my mouth and shit. I, I won't laugh. You laugh, you lose. If I laugh, I have to turn the stream off. <laughs> Why well, turn the music down? This doesn't count. This doesn't count. The music is at fucking zero percent. Okay, it was the radio. No, starting now, start. That doesn't count. Starting now. Starting now. If I laugh, I'll turn the stream off. <clears throat> Put the test objects in the appropriate slots and protect them from the explosion. I can't fucking take it anymore. I can't. It's been six minutes. I have to turn it off. Balloon chair. All right, I'm doing balloon chair, and then I'm never playing this game again. Everybody all right? Nobody move. Nobody's got glass in them or anything? 
No, I do, 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 I do. Hold on. Oh, dude, science! Dude, we have a ballistic gel hand? Dude, that's only possible with freaking science. Science actually is pretty cool. It is. It's fun. Look, I will take science over math. I will take science over social studies. I will take science over English class every single time. No matter what. Every time. I would have liked school a lot more if it was 30% science, 20% gym, 20% lunch, and then like 30% uh, like who invented stuff. That would be cool to me. Like inventors 101. Like, oh, we learn about like every invention that ever was invented and who made it and what their patents are and shit. Kind of fucking cool, don't you think? Oh, and what credit score is. And how to write a check and how what like taxes are. Would have been kind of nice if they told us that. You're 40, you should know by now. Well, I do now, and I, I have for the last probably five to ten years. I did not know this until I was probably in my early to mid-20s. It took way too long. It shouldn't have it, I should it shouldn't have waited until I was like 25 to understand all this stuff. Like 23, 24, 25, 26. You know why I okay, I don't I don't know how to change a tire either. Very, very important thing to know. Because I could know and I could learn, but I know I would screw it up. I would screw it up. And my fear of knowing that when I put that tire on, I'm going to get back on the fucking highway and my car is going to flip over like GTA. No. Somebody that knows what they're doing has to do that, not me. I just have this crazy fear. Oh, yo, yeah, man. No, you're fine. Just pop the hood and uh, unconnect this and then take that out and put this back in. My car is going to explode if I do it. I will put everything and I'll follow the YouTube tutorial instructions or whatever and I'll be like, okay, pause the video, rewind 10 seconds, watch it again to make sure I'm doing exactly what that guy just did, verbatim with his hands. Okay, done. When I close the lid to the engine, the car is going to explode the second that it latches in the front. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, I'm going to have the wrench in my hand. I'm going to be sitting there like, all right, pop the top, pop the, uh, pop the top of it. Yeah. Mm, looks like, yeah, that screw's loose in there. Yeah, kill the engine, man. Kill the engine. Go, 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 go. All right, let me get in there. And I'm going to get in there. I'm going to put the wrench around the the nut or whatever. And I'm going to go. And I'm going to wake up in front of the pearly gates. It's going to be like, yeah, man, I'm good to go. Yeah, no, this looks good. I think this is correct. I'm awake. I'm, I, 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 something killed me. I just wake up at the pearly gates. And fucking Peter's going to be like, wow, man, you don't even know how to change a tire. And he just fires me down to hell. I look over and I see over like the pearly gates, I see like all the mechanics. They're all sitting there and they're all like, yeah, <laughs> waving to me. It's just like a shitload of mechanics and like electricians. Dead because bad. Wait, but hold on. But doesn't beating like Sekiro on stream means I get, I get to go to heaven? In that same logic. Hold on. Why are we tying? Hold on. Why am I tying like professional skill to you go to heaven? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, these guys were all car mechanics. If you're not a car mechanic, you go to fucking hell? What am I talking about? That doesn't make any sense. Playing video games with a skill is not worthy of heaven. Hey! All dogs go to heaven. Some dogs go to hell. <laughs> Can you imagine that was a sequel? Oh, Disney present, presents Some Dogs Go to Hell. Rated PG. Oh, also, a lot of you be interested. Um, I have to change my Dark Souls tier list. I have to change my Dark Souls, you know, what I find to be, what's the best Dark Souls, what's the best From Software game. I have to change it. I played Dark Souls 3 recently. I was just kind of messing around on the couch. Like, ah, why not? I'll play Dark Souls 3 for no reason. I don't like that game. The skill issue. No, you know what I figured out about Dark Souls 3 that I didn't really pay attention to? There, every area has just the annoying group of people that are firing projectiles at you from across the map. Think of all the areas in Dark Souls 3, and think of how many times you go, Wow, this is really fucking annoying. Somebody's just firing missiles at me. Hey, guess what? Bloodborne's a perfect game. Besides the fact that it's 30 FPS and it's only on PlayStation. Why won't they just, just release it, for the love of God? The, you know, they could. Sony could probably say... Oh, uh, we're increasing the pri price of Bloodborne Remastered uh, to a hundred dollars, and we'd all still buy it, right? Like they, I, we, I would buy it. 
A lot of you would buy it. I mean, it would be bullshit. It would be absolute horse shit, but I, we would. Bloodborne sucks. It doesn't. I played literally Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 back to back. Just messing around. Polly had never played Bloodborne before. So it was like, holy shit, this is amazing. All right, when somebody has not played a From Software game and you know they haven't and they're into the series, that's like bringing, that's like your friend and you go watch all the Marvel movies back to back and they've never seen it. Or like the Lord of the Rings movies. It's just like, I can't wait to watch you watch Lord of the Rings. I would have said the same thing about Game of Thrones. But after like season five or six of Game of Thrones, it was kind of just like, uh, no, don't, you don't, don't watch it. I remember people being like, oh man, Game of Thrones, season seven and season eight are coming out. Should I start? Oh, I should definitely start. Should I watch it? And I'm just like, well, I, yeah, no, it's not, uh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's great. It's a great series. Oh, I can't wait to see what happens. Yeah, I know. Me too. Me too. And they're like, what are you, what are you talking about? Ah, you know. Would you sell your soul for infinite money? No. There's only so much you can buy with money. Before it's just like, what the fuck else do you, what, what do you do now? It's like, oh, dude, infinite money? Infinite money? All right, so I could get a plane, a, a boat, and like five houses, and then not, what else? Okay, what else? Dude, you have infinite money. All right, but can, can I so should I rebuild? Okay, can I rebuild every school in America? Do I can I spend it on other people? Because that might be worth it. If I sold my soul for infinite money, and I literally fixed every problem in the world, and then I would just be essentially the one that had to get sacrificed. I mean that. I, all right, do I get to have a cool life for like the next forty or fifty years? I mean, if I had infinite money, I would. I don't know. I'd. I'd go all out. I'd go baller mode on myself, right? For like, okay, for like five years, you would not hear from me at all, ever. I would just disappear and do a bunch of crazy shit as like a billionaire. And then I would come back, and I'd fucking bed bags under my eyes, be like, all right, it's time to fix this shit. And I would rebuild every school in America. I'd make, I would, I would plant like fucking hundreds of miles worth of crops. I would redo our entire education system. I, okay, at that, at that point, I'm back and I'm ready to go. But you get, I get, I get a few years where I'm just gonna just fuck off and just, I don't know, live on an island and eat like coconuts and shit, and have like, f have like five G internet on the island. Just give me, give me like five years for me just to like be a fucking nutcase, and then I'm back with like a golden suit and a golden top hat and a golden cane. Who am I kidding? I'd be dead. Are you serious? Oh, dude, what would you do with the with infinite money? <laughs> well, I would be I would like bungee jump in a gold suit and weigh too much and snap the thing and die. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm, you know, I'm being honest. You would just get assassinated. <laughs> but, but hold on. But what hap? Wait. But what about the money? Is it okay? We got to clarify a few things here. Is it a genie scenario where I have to, I have to essentially be alive, right? Like it's me. And if I'm not around, I can't just like go like this and wave the gold cane around. So, but, so it's the devil. Is it the devil? Is it a genie? Is it a, how, how am I coming? What's my motivation? Give me some direction here. You get kidnapped. Yeah, but, but that's my point. Like, but do I, listen, does the, do I have to be like, Oh, great powerful sorcerer, I would like a hundred dollars to pay for my bar tab. Like, how does this work? It's just a credit card with no limit and you don't ever have to pay it back. Okay, but do I have to swipe it or can somebody take my infinite credit card thing and use it? Because then, yeah, I, I am making it 24 hours. I, if, if, okay. Oh, breaking news. It seems that this man, Jeremy Albertson from Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, has in his possession crazy enough uh, the an infinite money credit card. Anyone who possesses this card can purchase anything in an infinite amount with no repercussions. You know, I would go to the grocery store and there'd be a, a million people waiting for me. No, I don't want that thing. But if I really had infinite money, yeah, I would, I would just disappear. I'd go on a five-year bender, and that's not what you guys think it is. You know what I mean? That's getting. Wicked high on the couch for like a week or two straight sometimes watching like tool videos Right, you know what I mean? It's not what you think it is. 
it's clearly exactly what I think it is. No, no, two like actual tool videos. You, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna be sitting there just high, just like. It's being like, I know the pieces fit, cause I watch I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> put it on the loop. I'm talking, well, I mean, I would buy, I may, I may watch a few of those. What if someone offered you a McDonald's life pass, but to get it for one year, you have to eat McDonald's every day and nothing else? No. Why would I do that? Okay, if I had to eat three meals at, at McDonald's a day, that would be, what is a, what's like a number, well, number one or number two? All right, so let's just say it's $30 a day. So you're telling me, so you, this is effectively what you were saying. And this is why it's not worth it. So $30 a day turns into 30 times uh, seven, right? So that's $210 a week times four. That's $840 a month times 12. So you are giving me effectively $10,000 to eat McDonald's every single day. No, that's not even close to being enough money. That's $10,000 for a year's worth of McDonald's. No, you add two zeros to that. I ain't eating McDonald's every single day for a year for 10 grand worth of McDonald's. No way. Are you kidding me? Make that a, make that 10 million. Make that a million and I'll do it. No, actually I wouldn't. It's not, I wouldn't. I would not eat McDonald's every day for a year for a million dollars. You just die. Wasn't, okay, well, Super Size Me was like 30 days. Imagine if Super Size Me, he was like, yeah, I'm going to eat McDonald's three meals a day every single day for a year. I think he, I don't know if he, would he be alive? Who is he talking to? You, of course. Who do you think I'm talking to? What would your, what would your brand of ice cream be? Wait, if I had ice cream? Oh, shit. What would my ice cream flavor be if I would have an ice cream? Hmm. It'd be a chocolate ice cream. And they would be gobs of cookie dough in, and I'm talking a smooth chocolate ice cream, not this like, not like the kind of cocoa dark kind of chocolate. No, 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 no. Smooth milk chocolate ice cream with marshmallow swirls, a sw a, a swirls of mar like a marshmallow fluff, like swirls in it. And like cookie, like cookie crumbles, soft cookie crumbles. Wait, that's cookie dough. All right, take off the cookie dough and add like soft cookie, chocolate chip cookie crumbles. Soft, chewy, and graham crackers. And it would be called the fat fuck. <laughs> Wait, this, are, this exists? It's called cookie cobblestone? Oh, no, it already exists. Cookie cobblestone. What? What? This, I need this. Where do I get this? Look at this. Chocolate ice cream, cookie dough, marshmallow swirls, and crushed cookie pieces. What? How come they stole this from me? This is amazing. I want this right now. This is Rocky. That was on Rocky Road. I know what Rocky Road tastes like. They must have made this like 10 minutes ago. They, they must have just made this. That, okay, cookie cobblestone. That's my, that's my jam right there. I want this. That looks damn good. Nice job, Eddie's. Seriously. We, we connect on stuff, you and I. Eddie's, you and I get it. I mean, some of the world's best ice cream since, you know, since 1928. I'm just saying. I mean, it's, it's, it's the world's, one of the world's most tastiest ice creams. I've actually had them before. I, you know, I love, uh, you know what my favorite ice, what? let's get, you know, ice cream tier list, ice cream from the grocery store tier list, <laughs> that word tier. Uh, you know who I think makes the best in the grocery store ice cream? Blue Bunny makes the best grocery store ice cream, without a doubt. It's by a mile. I mean, it's by a, it's by a fucking mile. It's not even, it's, I'm not kidding. It's not even close. Hold on. Don't even start. Yes, Ben and Jerry's does make the best ice cream, but Ben and Jerry's does not really have in the grocery store strawberry ice cream or just chocolate ice cream. It's like Jerry Lewis's Tonight Dough is a bunch of wacky shit and it's amazing. But I'm talking just straight up chocolate ice cream or strawberry ice cream. For anything else, it's Ben & Jerry's. So I know I've said that before. It is the best thing you can buy at the grocery store, hands down. Blue Bunny only makes novelties. No, they don't. I have, I literally have Blue Bunny chocolate ice cream, just chocolate in my freezer right now. And I eat it all the time. You have to, you're making me prove this. Why would I prove that an ice cream? Just go look it up, type Google, Blue Bunny chocolate ice cream. I don't have to prove it to you. You don't have it. I have it. 
Okay. I don't know why I have to prove this to everybody. Why does this matter? Why do you have to know this? Okay. Here. Blue bunny. Chocolate. Chocolate ice cream. It's just the standard blue bunny chocolate ice cream. It's delicious. It's perfect. It's smooth. It's pillowy. When, when you scoop it out, it makes this like... It's, it's fluffy. It's pillowy. <laughs> I was anticipating to show you a smooth pillowy. This may have been in there for a while. This may have, hold on. Was the expiration? Fuck. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. <laughs> I fucked it up. No, it's not. It's freezer burn. I my freezer is fucked up. That's my fault. That's my fault for showing that to you. That is not fresh. That I had a freezer problem that I had to fuck up with my freezer settings, and that's what did that. My freezer screwed up. That looked like that. No, it was free. All right. Anyways, Blue Bunny is incredibly fluffy. It's it's smooth. It has an amazing texture. And I know I, I look really odd saying that to you right now, but it's true. It's got a, it's got a pillowy texture. It's it, it, the mouthfeel is perfect. It like disintegrates in the back of your mouth and it's, just, it's perfect. It's the best ice cream you can buy. Don't look at what I just showed you.